What's up guys? So in another video, I talked about this potential strat of uh, nuking and remezzing. So I've got it ironed out here. Um, let's see, my enchanter just mezzed himself, so I'm going to Radiant Cure. And I like to Tash after mez, if I remember it, just to um, re-engage them in case they get blurred by the mez. So I ended up breaking the channer out into their spells because if they fizzle, you're you're gonna wipe. So it's not it doesn't work to have this in a in a in a macro like this. Um, so basically, here's my stun, and the way my characters' nukes are set up, or at least the way they're timed, is my fastest nuke is this one, the wizard at two seconds. I've got the mage nuke, and I've got the druid nuke, and the druid nuke is the slowest at 3.35 seconds. Um, so basically, as soon as I hit this stun, um, I can hit my other nukes, because this is a 2 second stun, and the fastest nuke I have is 2 seconds. So I'm going to hit stun. This is going to trigger all my characters to nuke. And then as soon as my global cooldown's over, I'm going to hit my infinite target mez. And if that fizzles, this cast is actually so long that if it fizzles and you try casting it again, you will wipe. So if that does happen, I have my fast cast PBAOE mez set up. So, And I have an audio trigger where it's going to beep at me if uh, this spell fizzles. And then I'll go into this six second mez and hopefully get this to not fizzle on the next cast. Otherwise, it's a wipe. Um, so, yeah, here's what it looks like. Make sure that that didn't fizzle, then hit the nukes. And as soon as the global cooldown comes off, I hit the mez. And the mez worked, so now I'm going to tash. And so my druid's push pushes two units to the, or one unit to the left. And my Channer's stun pushes one unit to the right. Um, and the Druid's PBAOE uh, cooldown timer is twice as long as the other characters, so I can actually um, get, get the push lined up perfectly uh, so that the mobs aren't moving all over the place. But yeah, so that is that. I'm going to turn broadcasting on, hit escape a bunch of times. Turn broadcasting off, retarget on the channer, and I'm going to remez just because I wiped at this point last time I did this. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pop my lessons on all my guys. Looks good. Lessons are going. I'm going to get a good target close to the middle of the pile. And um, I don't, I know my Channer has some stuff that might do damage, so I don't want him to have a target when I do this. Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll just target myself, should be fine. So yeah, I'm going to put all my burns up and hopefully finish this pile off. Let's see, I'm at 26 AAs. And here go the burns. Not going to have a bard epic up, but that's perfectly fine. Oh boy, okay. Oh shit, this could be a wipe. I need to cancel that. Alright, that was lucky. That was really dumb. Um, yeah, so my burn key casted some shit that it shouldn't, so that explains how I wiped here last time. Uh, yeah, it's probably a twin cast my, or something like that that I'm casting on my spell bar that just caused that stun to trigger. But yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to take a look at that. But yeah, I'm good to go now and utilize these burns, hopefully get some XP rolling here. I guess I should probably target myself for this bit just since uh, mobs are dying. So yeah, basically as soon as the stun comes off cooldown, I can go. A 
Ooh, 26 up to 70 already. That's pretty damn good. And look at that. They're all dead. Perfect. Could just single target this down, but I'm all set up with burns rolling, so yeah, it should be pretty solid. But yeah, it was a lot of it's a lot of setup to like get the pull in because when you make the pull this big, shit starts glitching out, and uh, um, just takes the mobs forever to move. Next expansion, bards will get an AA that is a point blank AOE that pulls everything on top of the bard. So what I'll be able to do is uh, is uh, like do smaller pulls where I don't have to pull everything at once. Oh, this could be a wipe. Hopefully my SK's got threat. Yeah, he does. He's got, so, uh, yeah, he's got, uh, for his AE nuke, he just sits here casting his uh, Revile. And uh, what that does for me is uh, just, if anything resists the stun, it's beating on the SK instead of the Chanter, which works out perfectly. But, yeah, that is the farm. What did I get here? 79. I'm at 79. What did I say? I started at 26. So 79 minus 26. That's 53 AAs. And I have got 26 minutes left on my lesson to go uh, get some more XP. Thanks for watching.